What's up guys, this is iTweaks here. And today I'm going to be showing you a new app switcher tweak called Switcher for iPhone. Now this tweak is actually pretty much a replica of the iOS 6 version of OXO. So the first version of OXO. So this is actually, it's pretty cool. It does have a little bit of glitchiness or bugginess. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean when we go through the tutorial here. So first of all, we can see what this looks like if we pull it up just by double pressing the home button here. And this is what it looks like right now. This is how I have it set up. So we have rounded corners on the uh, page views right here. And you can see you swipe through. So there's paging uh, enabled as well. And you have a indicator right up here at the top. So this is telling you which applications are running in the background right there. And you can put that at the top, put it on the bottom, or just get rid of it completely. Now, if we swipe over to the left, you can see that we have our music controls right here. And you can actually theme this. So right now I have the black bar, which is basically just the black background right here. And I have some transparency to it as well. And I also have changed the color of the separators to red. Now you can change these up as well, and I'll show you how to do that. Now if we swipe over one more time, then we have our toggles. Now to access more toggles, you'll swipe up just like that. And you can see right here it doesn't work very well with the black background because the disabled toggles right here are actually blending in with that background. So you can't even see what those toggles are. But you can see that it's a little bit glitchy. It's kind of hard to tell. But when I change the color right here, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So let's go ahead and jump into the settings here. And we're going to scroll down to switcher right there and you can see you have a kill switch so you can enable or disable it right there you also have touch ID so this is going to allow you to basically just double press on your touch ID button and it's gonna activate switcher now I couldn't actually get this to work at all I tried different speeds I mean I couldn't get it to work so if this is a selling point for you I wouldn't bank on that working very well so if we scroll down here, you also can change your first page. So if you want it to be on your switcher, when you first open up your app switcher right here, then it's going to bring up your app switcher just like that. If you want to change it to media or toggles, then you can do so. And obviously that's going to change in real time. So you can see that right there. And we also have the activity indicator, which we had at the top, which I was showing you previously. Let's put it at the bottom here and let's change this back to the switcher and open that up. And now you can see that I have Pandora running in the background right there. So just the little indicator right there at the bottom. And right down here, you can actually change your appearance. So you have your opening animation duration, so you can change what that is. So if you want to make it a little bit shorter, you can see right there, it's going to open up just like that. But then if we move it up, you're going to see a nice little fade animation as it opens or activates switcher. Again, down here, we have snapshot corner radius. And this is basically going to make that rounded corner on your switcher icons or your switcher pages so you can see it's rounded right there but if we change this up all the way to the left you can see that they're all uh, 90 degree corners right there you can actually make it look pretty ridiculous right there if you want some diamonds or you know if you want to look like that then you can do so but I'm a fan of just having it you know just rounded enough to make it look good so I'm about right there also down here you have your uh, alpha color for your bar so this is just the background alpha right here so you can make it a solid color or you can add some transparency to it so going all the way to the right is gonna make it a solid color we're gonna leave it right here you also can change your bar color so let's go ahead and change that we're gonna change it to red we'll just kind of uh, switch these up and we'll do black separators actually let's do white separators and down here you have show app icons. Now this is actually, you're going to have to respring. So I'll show you that in just a second. So you can see if I pull that up, nothing's changed. But once we respring, it'll change. You also have show app icons. So if you don't want to show the app icons, then it's going to get rid of those app icons right down at the bottom of the pages. I kind of like those, so I'm going to leave that up. Also, you can take off the icon badges if you want to do that. You can also show the current app. So if I toggle it on right here, we're not going to see settings. But if I toggle this on and then I open it back up, then you can see settings right there as the first app. So let's go back. Let's toggle that back off. You can also turn on media controls while playing. So what this does, it doesn't explain it very well, but if you toggle this on and you're playing music, then the first page is always going to be your media controls. So let's go ahead and start playing something. So if we're playing something and then we open it up, you can see that it's always going to open up to that media control page right there. So that's what that toggle does. You also have toggles over here where you can activate which switches you want 
on your toggle menu so you can obviously just take that grabber you can rearrange these however you want you can also drag them down here to disabled or drag these up to enabled so if we wanted to check out the calculator here let's go ahead and open that up swipe over we're gonna swipe all the way down and it's really hard to see but this is gonna be the calculator so you can see right there that we have the calculator uh, right there so let's go ahead and go back into the settings and finish that up so we can respring our device so down here you also have activation method so if you don't want it to just be the double press of the home button then you can set an activation method to actually activate switcher so now when we respring we should see a different bar color as well as white separators so let's go ahead and do that all right so now we're resprung let's go ahead and unlock the device and pull this up so you can see now that we have that red bar color and if we swipe over you're going to see those white separators right there so it doesn't look too bad and there's quite a few different colors that you can actually choose from and you can actually see those toggles a little bit better it would be nice if you were able to actually change the uh, disabled toggles right here change the color of those so they would show up better on certain colors but if you want to check out this tweak it is two dollars in Cydia I'm actually kind of a fan I'm not sure if I'll be using it permanently but I will be using it for a little while on my devices just to see how it works out let me know what your favorite app switcher is for iOS 7 in the comments below I'm really anxious to hear what you guys are using but let me know what you guys think about this in the comments below and if you enjoyed this video please hit that like button if you want to see more of my videos then go ahead and subscribe all right guys until next time peace